Hi everybody. Uh, just wanted to bring you along a little bit this morning. Um, my wife and I, we got a new Jeep to us uh, here a couple days ago. And so I'm just doing some DIY little things to it. Um, I'll, I will be putting lights back on and a winch. I can make that a future video. Uh, show you how to wire in and do those connections um, But the tires that are on it are studded winter tires uh, Because we just bought the Jeep. We do not have a uh, second set of tires yet for this and the studs are worn flat um, So they're not gonna be any good for icy winter conditions and yet the tread is still good so I'm gonna show you today uh, popping some studs out of the tire so that you can go right into summer and just keep on going. So I've got one tire off. Um, so I was looking underneath the Jeep, checking some stuff. So because I was under it, I did add a uh, jack stand beside the jack. Uh, I always recommend doing that if you're gonna be under a vehicle uh, always add a jack stand guys or something there that if the jack failed, the stand will save your life. Uh, my son actually had a friend who didn't do that and had passed away. So it's just something that's a good practice to do. So anyway, uh, I've got the tire right here and I'm either using like WD-40 or three in one oil. And I just put a drop or a little spray on the stud, um, just using a small screwdriver. <clears throat> um, some people, if you've done this before, you know it's no fun. Um, it's not too hard to do, but it is hard on the wrist and just takes a little bit of time. But I do recommend Adding a little drop of oil just makes a really big difference. So, as you can see, it's just a little struggle to get the screwdriver squeezed in there, but once it's underneath, they just pop right out. Okay, so it is hard on the wrist. I probably already said that. It'll wear you out. Um, I'm probably only gonna do two tires today. See how my wrist feels tomorrow, but finish the other two tires here in the next day or two. So that All right, friends. Uh, so I'm getting ready to put the tire back on. I've got all the studs pulled out of this tire. And let me tell you, it's hard on the shoulders, the wrists, the hands. Um, if you don't have to do it, don't. <laughs> but anyway, just thought I'd show you real quick, putting the tire back on and the proper sequence of uh, tightening lug nuts. Uh, there is a proper sequence so that you don't get like a warp in your rim and then cause a death wobble when you're going down the freeway or highway, whatever. Uh, you don't want that. So.
Okay, so I got them all started just a little bit. Um, I'm just gonna put a few spins on them. Start getting them just lightly snugged, not really any pressure. Um, so when you are tightening or torquing, you do want to do every other. Um, you don't want to go next to each other. If you go in a circle and start like at the top and just go in a circle, you're going to put a warp in your rim uh, and you don't want that. So it's just good, good practice just to even why I'm not even putting any pressure on yet. I still go in an alternating pattern. I uh, just don't want to get in a bad habit of ever putting a warp in the rim. So, so you want to get everything kind of, kind of to a snug. Make sure it's all signed, centered up, lined up. Then I just put a little pressure on. And just enough that when I sit it down on the ground that I'm not going to move the rim at that time. Okay, I'll lower it down. And if you can do it nice and slow, it's better than just dropping it. You don't want to shift anything. Once you got some pressure on, then you can go ahead and just finish letting it go. And now we're going to torque there. I don't know the torque specs. I just go pretty much as tight as I can. Um, and then after you put about 50 miles on, check them. So usually the next day you want to check them. Make sure nothing came loose. Last thing you want is to see your tire pass you when you're going down the road. Okay, that's all there is to it. Thanks everybody.